Well, here we are again. <laughs> Hi, Mickey. <laughs> Hello, Kate. <laughs> what a, what a, what a Hello, time. everyone. Oh, Hi. it's Hi. one of those days. I'm going to just say it. It's one of those days, and we've been dealing with it as you do. Yeah. That's what this whole thing today is about. So it's funny to me that we went through what we went through while we were going through it. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, Audrey said, yay. <laughs> Hello, Audrey. See, now we know everything's all right because we yes. know we got Audrey. All right. That That's makes right. the day go right. That and means then right. Thing, when we hear from, from Martin, then you see it's the, you know that thing when you're making a move and it goes clap? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yep. So Audrey, you gave us authenticity. Yes. We know. And relief. <laughs> relief. It's been crazy. I mean, yeah. well, first of all, I just tell people, I'm like, I couldn't log on. It wouldn't let me do anything. Hi, Kim. Well, you know what? You Give know why? Because I was nervous. Well, today is all about Uranus. Yeah. So it is. It is the day before the full moon. That was the show and tell demo part, you know, to make sure we understood what we were dealing with. <laughs> oh, Audrey says, I've been having a day also. Yes, ma'am. It was a day like every other day, except you were there. <laughs> yeah, if, I say, if I say that came from Edward Morrow, nobody but me knows who the hell that is because they're not old enough. Yep, I don't know that name. <laughs> Edward R. Morrow. Google it, folks. It's okay. hilarious. Okay. All right. All right. So how's everybody doing in Facebook land? Ho, ho, ho. We have Audrey and Kim on. Hello, Kim. How you doing, sweetheart? My gosh, I am... I was just thinking about you, Kim, yesterday, very much in the afternoon, late afternoon. Let's see, that would be midday to you, and it was late afternoon to me. So anyway, you are on my mind. <laughs> Interesting. Now, I'm back in the healing room today, so I'm hearing all kinds of weird noises. But that's where you needed to be today. And the I, and <laughs> I, I, I really did. I really did. Yeah. Yes. Lord, yes. Yep, yep, yep. I, I, it, and it feels great in here. I've been putting new books out, and I've just been doing, you know, doing little, little things here and there. But I haven't yeah. been in this room for like six months. Well, um, how about if you tell us about? Because it's so appropriate for today. It's tickling me that you're in where you are, and we see what we see. Oh, tell oh. us about the water behind you, and why <laughs> they all have little pieces of paper under them. Oh, that's okay. very appropriate to what I'm going to tell them later. All right. Well, I'll, I'll pick one of them up. So these are just, just normal spring water that I place on cards that I made. And this card says, so can you see that? Success. Yeah. So to me, that looks backwards. Can you guys read it okay? No, it's perfect. It's straight perfect. across the Okay. Way so to me, it looks so wrong, but it, it, so these are paintings that I've done and I had words printed on them and then I had them laminated and I put the water on them. And the reason for that is Dr. Masero Emoto yes. uh, wrote his books, Messages in Water. So what he learned was if, if he spoke good words to water it changed the crystalline structure of the water right he right. would he would talk to the water he would flash freeze it slice it and then you know get one of his big microscopes and then photograph it and some of them like he took water from lords in france and it looks like little angels at the end of each <laughs> you yeah. know and and he played like Bach to it, and and that was a different crystalline structure. Um, love and gratitude was another one, but then he also did hate to it, and and how awful it was, and 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 told it you were ugly and 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 you're you're bad, 
and it would the water would then turn to like a, a yellowish brown gloopy mess like the crystalline structure would Pardon. totally break down the, yeah the crystalline structure became very sharp pointed and dangerous yeah. looking like knives it was strange yeah so but then he could like say the buddhist prayer to that awful water that was yucky and then it becomes beautiful again so here we are you know 70 some percent water and what do we do when we get up in the morning we look in the mirror and say oh god there's another wrinkle oh god look there's you know bags under my eyes that i sleep at all whatever no you have to say i love you kate you're beautiful and and that water takes in those words so this water here is charged with success right that's what it said so when you're drinking this water and you take it into your cells the cells in your body are going to match the success water here mm -hmm. you guys could do that at home i mean these are laminated because you know i mean i i use them a lot but you could just write on a piece of paper on a piece of paper right yeah. it could be the back of a grocery list whatever one of these i mean i have a whole bunch of them here there's love there's peace there's joy there's laughter um, just all different emotions that mean a lot of things to me. Creativity is one I use a lot. And, and just place your water on that to charge it. Um, Bert Goldman, right, we love Bert. He used to say he would charge his water by, by putting it at his third eye and he would think right. healing, love, and he would like spray it out his third eye into his water works the same way it so does our words whether we're speaking them whether we're writing them whether we're spraying them out of our third eye it, it, it all does the same thing but the biggest thing is have good talk to yourself you know stop the downgrading talk you know be very positive to yourself anything you would say that's negative if you utter it you must include i used to so and so i used to feel i was so and so there was a time in my life when i felt i was blah 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 but i didn't realize the way i am now and i understand my beauty i understand my capacity for success i understand but you must put that on it so that you qualify that negativity because again, we're sitting here trying desperately to teach ourselves to be more responsive to our own universe because we each have our own but we're trying to respond to it we're trying to understand it better we're trying to find out the keys to how it works etc cetera, etc cetera. or we wouldn't be here that's what seth came to teach us what it's like to have more knowledge of your own power and we're going from one little method to another trying to find ways to make that happen and that's why we're all here so later on and you know in our discussion and whatnot i got i have some stuff i want to throw at you you know and it's all about as an exercise for y'all i love yeah. it yeah. yeah i do but I'm so concerned because each time I come and I sit here and I say, well, you know, this time I want to tell you about so and so. I want to get you to do such a thing. The thing is, it doesn't mean a damn thing unless you actually try it. When you get up from this screen, what do you do then? Oh, it was nice today. And then you go back to watching crap on Facebook or standing in front of the sink to do. Now I can do the dishes. I'm glad I waited till after the broadcast. You stand there at the sink saying, I should have done it long ago. Uh, I never do what I'm supposed to. Oh, I didn't get to the other stuff I was supposed to get. And you totally submerge what you gained in bull crap. <laughs> you know, we have to accept. It's not enough to know about your power. That has nothing. It gives you nothing. Knowing about your power means F all, okay? What works is you've got to accept it. If you didn't accept and believe it, 
then it was for nothing. Yeah, you got to do the work. You know, I'm going to bother in a while to actually bring you another thing you could do. But if you're not willing to actually start believing it, why do you think Seth came? Did you believe anything he said? So it's all about what are you willing to do? And I'm telling that I'm looking at the me on screen saying, you lady, you, because I do it too. Mm -hmm. Oh, sure. You know, How? I believe a lot of stuff, but I'm, I'm 10 seconds out in front maybe of the spot where you're not believing it as much. Oh, honey, when, when Audrey said she'd had quite a day. Yeah, I have been on my own case. You know, I've gone through some dark times and so forth where I wasn't doing what I was supposed to be doing. And I know it. So I had to do a real turnaround. And I mean, I actually had to get up and turn around. Okay. That, that made it real. Yeah. So yeah, that works. Yeah. Well, how many people still have their touchstone from last summer, right? Mine oh. still sits right by my chair. And yes. I have it and I use it. Um, you know, yeah. how, how many people are still doing that? So w what's coming up today is a way to really change and to jumpstart you and yeah. yeah. That's right. Guess who joined us? Huh? Guess who joined us? Who? Martin. <laughs> Hello, Martin. You completed my mnemonic for the day. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> yep, yep. There he is. Hi, <laughs> you all that is. <laughs> the game's afoot. <laughs> Absolutely. Yes, yes. Yeah. It's, it's a day of trying to get the resonance right. That's it. It's all about vibrations today. And how do we get the resonance right? And we keep trying. That's what we do. We keep trying. You got to get up and do it every day. Because guess what the alternative is? You don't get up the next day. We don't want that. So let's start there. What do you want? You know? So this is do your thing or get off the pot <laughs> today. This is, hey, folks, wake up. Now, I say that because, let's, you know, folks, when you say you want the good news or the bad news, they always say, well, give me the bad news first. Well, the thing is, it's not bad news, but it is true that we are standing on the very edge of one hell of a time period. <laughs> so... You've got the warning, and it means you actually have time to go out and buy your seatbelts. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, if only I know. Well, you do know, and you're. I'm telling you now, go buy your seatbelts, and trust that they'll be enough. All right. But we do have stuff to go through as a, a culture, as a, a civilization on this planet. We've pushed it to the last. You know how we do. We pushed it and pushed it and pushed it. Well, guess what? Now it's come due. We have stuff to go through. And we all chose to be here doing this. This is a very special time on the planet. And we picked to be in this particular now. So now we have to deal with our choices. Okay, so we're girding our loins to be ready for the future. Here we go. <laughs> I love it. I love it. So what's going on with the with the planets and, and all of that happening right now? Um, I am feeling some very positive shifts, really, this week. It's like things that I wanted to do or I maybe started doing a few things. And all of a sudden, I feel a big push to get them done, a big push to move forward. Yeah. Yeah. And, and it yeah. feels extremely positive to me. Well, when you say that, it's an indication of how positive you are. It's an indication that you are seeing things a certain way because you're picking up on the positive part more. 
And that's great. A lot of people are picking up on the negative part more. And they're, you know, but I'm saying it's a definite mix of two things. And I'll, I'll explain why I say that. It is positive, but it also has a lot of negative in it. I say it because if you're going to go clean up the kitchen, you're going to let some really dirty water down the sink before you're dealing with the nice soapy water that's cleaning everything up. Or after you clean stuff up, you're still going to let all the nasty dish water down the drain. And that's just part of how you do it. If you're going to go in there and clean, there's certain things you do first, and you're handling the very thing you're getting rid of. You can't wipe a counter, wipe the ugly off the counter, the crap and the mess, without letting that go. You're trying to get rid of it. You're only touching it because you want to get rid of it. Mm -hmm. So that plays into um, the thing that I wanted to bring out today. Do you want me to go ahead and go into that? I do. Go ahead. Yes. Okay. All right. I'm calling this energetic manipulation. Okay. <laughs> and it's about manifesting big time. Um, now, in our now, this one we're in, one we've chosen, this particular now, you need to use one of your most powerful tools. And you've got several powerful tools. And three of them off the bat are, give a damn. <laughs> okay, that's a powerful tool, if you give a damn. Another powerful tool, make a difference. If you know that you're making a difference, like the person who went in to do dishes, they made a big difference in that room. We can do the same thing in our lives. You have to sit down and think of how to go about it. You know, what it is that you want to change, but it's the old thing about how do you eat an elephant? One steak at a time, you know? <laughs> <laughs> and the third power that you've got is acknowledge and accept the energies that result in your life from what your beliefs are. Now, if you don't want to acknowledge and accept whatever that energy is that you've got going, then it says you need to make a few adjustments, okay? But those are three powers you have. Give a damn, make a difference, acknowledge and accept the energy, okay? Now, I wanna tell you something that you've heard before but you may not often think about the implications. Every time that you do any act or have any thought, there is a record created in the universe. Okay, I'm gonna say that again. Each time that you do any act or have any thought, there is a record created in the universe. Some people call it the Akashic record, you know, this and that, but they use it in an accusatory manner. I mean that all the good stuff is kept record too. Not just no one's keeping track and so that when you die and they come and say, what did you do and blah, blah. No, it's not about the whether you're going up or down garbage. It's just about the fact that, remember we said, all you have is now, You've got billions and trillions of nows that are all strung together. Well, certainly by the time you're my age, there's loads of them. But I'm trying to get you to understand that every now is valid. You know, when Seth says the validity of the soul, everything that is manifest is validated. It exists. And you can, like you ask a psychic, please go back and look at my past and blah, blah, blah. That's because the record of it is there. Vibrationally, it exists. All right? So with all of that in mind, what I'm led to say to you is this. When you go, the next time you go out somewhere in your car to go anywhere, grocery store, doctor's office, whatever, to the office, go to work, go to your friend's house or whatever. The next time that you go somewhere, take a coin out of your purse or your pocket, take a coin or a dollar bill, 
and either leave it on the ground and walk away, or if you're in a doctor's office, put the coin on the seat, either next to you or the seat under you so that when they call your name and you stand to go, to go into the office, you've left a coin on the seat. Or you can put it on the empty seat next to you. And then when you leave the room, it's there. Okay? And why do I say that? I say it because you've just helped the universe to manifest something that you don't know. You don't understand. You will never know what it did. But you were being used by some of the higher powers or your higher self. You were being used to accomplish something else that was important to someone else. Now, why is it important to do that? Well, what do I care about giving somebody else a dollar? Because you have just very visually manifested your own power. You had the power to change somebody's day. And what you did to your day was you helped to make it very, very obvious that you have power. You have power in the universe. You have power in the day. You put power in your now, okay? You are blessing the person who finds it. They have no idea who you are. They will maybe never see you again, et cetera, et cetera. But when that person walks in to that doctor's office and gets ready to sit down, and they say, oh my God, there's a dollar here. Now, what you did was you not only reminded yourself of your own power, you did something to their power as well, because who knows if they had just been standing in the mirror talking crap like you did. Oh, I just, oh, these wrinkles, oh, I just, or they were worried because they have no money. And they knew, oh, God, if only I could think that this will be solved. You put a positive and visible manifestation into their now. And they're going to look at that as, oh, gosh, the universe is telling me to chill out because the money's coming or whatever. I don't know what it'll mean to them. But the thing that's important is you have just demonstrated, you've manifested your own power at a new level. And the more you do it, the more your power is going to respond. It can't help but respond. You've changed your now. You've changed who you are. You're a person who, and you can follow that with any words you like. I'm a person who affected five people's a uh, future today. You could have done it with pennies. Mm -hmm. One of the most profound things I've ever experienced was that I was on my way to a restaurant once, and as I got out of the car, down in front of me were pennies at my feet. And when I mentioned, I said, well, maybe I'm just being weird to think that that's important. Ah, it's not really showing anything. Maybe it's just an accident that was there. And the other person who had driven says, well, you know, maybe it does mean something. And I says, yeah, well. And then they looked down and they had pennies in front of their feet. And they were standing in an entirely different place. So what did it mean? <laughs> you know, and I, I will never forget it because it repeated. And when we got to the door of the restaurant, there were more. Okay. <laughs> So I'm saying this to you because I want you to start understanding how profound it feels when manifesting is right in your face. You can't wonder whether it manifests. You can't wonder if you manifest. You know darn well what you did. And then watch what happens to the rest of your day. You know, power becomes a constant and active force in your day. The important thing is that you will create a constant abundance vibration to be present in your now. Now, I don't know if this all sounds crazy to you. Oh, she's just going to use up my money. And I don't have the money to be blah, blah, blah. Do it with pennies. 
if you happen to have, Kay was showing me a, a little bowl that had some nice little peppermints and stuff in it. If you've got candy in the house, take a peppermint and leave it in the chair next to you if you don't want to leave money. I don't care how you do it, but give something into someone else's now because you can't help but when you do that, you cannot help but affect your own. You've changed who you are at that second. You've changed who is in that now. And you need to see what happens when that change comes into your life. I guarantee you'll be surprised. Yeah. And not only are you changing your now, but you're changing someone else's now. That's the thing. Yeah. That's the that's how far out power goes. If you've right. got power, it it's bleeding into somebody else's now, whether you realize it or not. Mm -hmm. If you're in a good mood and you go to the door, the, ma the mailman comes to the door, and usually you're not even there to see what comes through the slot. But for once, you happen to get up feeling all right that day, you woke up a little early, you went to the door, and you happen to be near the door when he comes. So you open it and accept the mail. And you're smiling. Who knows what that did to his day? Mm -hmm. Okay? You don't know. You will never know. You will never know. Sure. <laughs> you, one of the ways that I like to do it, for instance, one of my favorite ways to do it, when you go to the grocery store and you're getting a cart, and you got to put a coin in the cart, mm -hmm. you either leave the coin in the one you're using when you're through, or when I take my cart, I'll reach over and put a coin in a cart next to me so that as I go in the store to shop, someone else came in to get a cart and realized, oh, it's already got a pound in it. Well, a dollar, whatever you want to call it, 50 cent piece or a quarter or whatever it takes in America. But it's the fact that the other person walks in and is shocked by the generosity of providence. Okay, that's the thing. The, the real important thing is what you're doing. You're changing now. You're exerting an influence on your now and someone else's. The influence of goodness or negativity goes out in a cone. You've got a point of star, a point of reference that begins something, but it goes out like that. Just like the universe does, like time does, like anything does. You know, I had someone tell me once when I was studying geometry, they said, make a, a period on the page, make a dot. And we made a dot. And it says, now you realize that you're looking at the end of a long, long line. What are you talking about? Nothing is one little tiny point. It's always simply a manifestation of something else, a long line of energy coming toward you. You're seeing it because you're looking at one end of something that continues. Nothing is singular. So if you affect your now, you're going to affect someone else's. You know? You will have allowed a few minutes of your time and a tiny portion of your financial well-being to use you to help someone else that was destined to be blessed. So you became part of that mechanism that was playing out. And it helped to reinforce your own power to you. You know, so I'm wondering how any of you feel about that. Are you willing to try it? Yes, I love it. And I would like to hear how it turns out for everybody. Yeah, yeah, do tell us. Yeah, and, and it's true, we may never know because if we're at a doctor's office and we leave that dollar bill there and we get up and we go in, we're never gonna see who that next person is. They're gonna be gone by the time we're done. And, oh, but what a know, difference you're gonna make. And how, you, how are you gonna feel? Yeah. It's easier when you got it on the floor because the person comes up and says, oh, I found it. Oh, look what I found. Oh, it was there. Otherwise, they may think someone is going to come back and look for the dollar that they left. Or, but no, just it's, it's a random thing that's on the ground. Takes away the guilt. <laughs> <Get it up. laughs> that's so funny. No guilt. No guilt. 
you know. But I, are any of you willing to try it? Tell us in the comments, you know. Or have any of you ever done it before? Who knows? I mean, this is that it, you think of it as being your own idea, but there's no new things under the sun. Somebody started that before. <laughs> right, right. I mean, you hear about the people that will say, well, I want to pay for the guy behind me's yeah. coffee. Pass it forward. So that, yeah. Pass it forward. And, right. and, and it's very similar to that, except you don't know who it's going to be. Right. You trust that the universe will bring the right person that either needs that uplift or, you know, whatever. I mean, just think, just think if you left a quarter, right? You left a quarter and a child finds it. Yeah. And a quarter to a child is like a million dollars. What a difference you would make in their life. Exactly. But that, that wonder and delight that they express so freely and immediately you know, like the adult might, oh, who left it? Oh, somebody lost it. Error. The child doesn't have that reaction. They're, oh, who left the child? And they're all beaming and bright. They went straight to the joy. They yeah. bypassed all the rest of the crap, the guilt, the, oh, I wonder who lost this. No, they concentrate on their own vibration and their own now. Yep, just the joy. Yeah, yeah. But that is... It's an interesting thing to do. I've had a lot of fun with it. And at the moment, I'm supporting several um, charities in the sense that they do things for people who had no idea there was any hope of having help of any kind. So that's what I do. And I mean, once I set it up to give to that on a regular basis, I don't even check in to see what happened to the people that it went out to, I don't want to know, and so forth. But it's just the idea that there's certain things that I know are going out that are helping for mm -hmm. someone. I don't even know who it is. I don't even know what it is. I just know that I feel good every time I look on the bank statement and say, oh, yeah, yeah, this is the time of the month or whatever when it paid such and such, when it sent back to them and blah, 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 blah. Right, and our dollar or ten dollars or whatever it is might mean everything to somebody else. It does, yeah. We hardly even miss it. So Audrey says, "I will try." We always pay it forward. A kindness for a kindness. I love yeah. that. I love that. Thank you, Audrey. I'm glad you're willing to try it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. It's so empowering. And again, as I said, that's why we're here, folks. This is what we were supposedly getting from Seth, is how to empower your life. Martin says, it's fun leaving money for others in coin-operated laundry machines. Yes, that's a great way. <laughs> that yeah. is a good idea. Ah, yeah, that's a good one. I love our group. I love our group. I do too. Yeah, yeah. because yeah, you just don't that's know what you can too. do to someone else. I don't know. I don't know if Kim thinks of it that way, but she's doing that too. She's so concerned about the lives of other beings on this planet. And she's doing a whole heck of a lot more than I'm doing in that sense. You know, I mean, I look at it when she's, when I see the different posts come up from her and she's talking about this or that. And I'm like, wow, you go girl, cause you're doing it. You know, you're really doing it. The most I do is leave something out for an animal in the backyard once in a while. But people are spending their time, which you can't get back. You know, when you give your time to something, it's a heck of a gift because it will never come again in the whole universe, ever. That's it. When a now is spent on something, and like I said, a record is made of it because that's it for that occurrence. It will never be repeated. You will never be repeated. You may come back and forth as you see it that way, but that's still us putting our experiences in a linear context when we've already been told. It doesn't happen like that. Mm -hmm. Right. You know, there are trillions of, we choose to play the movie out in this sequence, but that's not what really happened. So, 
it's it's worth keeping track of the fact that this record was made of what happened in the universe in such and such a galaxy on such and such a day because of such and such a person who was living a thing we call life. Yeah. And we don't have any clue how it is elsewhere. All we know is the now we have. You know, so we work with that. <laughs> we do, we do. And that's why, you know, we do the water and we talk positively and we try to be as positive as possible. And the people that here are joined us, I mean, they so get it, you know. Yeah. Uh, Mark, I'm Mark. So grateful. Oh my gosh, yes, yes. I'm um, so grateful. Yeah. And and I'm finding that there are less and less of people that aren't like that that even come in my life. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Very positive, very upbeat, very giving people. I love right. them. Right. Yeah. Well, I really treasure each one of you. I really do. And don't think that you don't cross my mind during the week. All because of I, I remember the things that we're sharing. And mainly what I say is the feeling of you being there when we're on here. Don't think we don't feel you mm -hmm. because we do. Mm -hmm. you, know, you have a very discernible positive energy you hear that martin when you don't get on we miss you <laughs> yes and yet i still feel you when you're not on well because the now he is watching it yeah uh, yeah i, I get but that that, resonance, that vibration has been so indelibly stamped on me now that i've been able to experience you so many times you know and for instance, the fact that Kim is new, relatively now, but that added something that I'm very aware of, the difference in this now, since it's been augmented, since it's been added to. I've got the Martin feeling, I've got the Audrey feeling, but I also now have included this third point. Mm -hmm. Okay, Kim adds to what we were getting and what we were feeling and what we were experiencing. You know, I'm close to tears here, but it means so much. It does, it does. And we're, we I mean, we're a community. Much. It's a beautiful community. It is, yeah. and it's important. It's really important. Right, people, people need community. They, they desire it, they look for it. Um, and, and that's what we've tried to create here. And, and I love it that the regulars show up and can show up. And our community is 7,000 miles wide because I'm over here. <laughs> Absolutely. I, I love it that the internet has just made it. It's made it that everybody can join. Yeah. 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 I we mean, come a lot of space. We've had people join us from Taiwan and Australia oh. at times. Yeah. Did you want to have somebody from China? Mm, China or Taiwan, at least. Yeah. Oh, Taiwan. But, okay. But, yeah, but yeah. that, right. And that is what, 12, 14 hours difference, you know? Um, I know this. I know it's a $20,000 ticket on a plane. Oh. <laughs> Well, this is a lot easier than that, $20,000. the ticket, and when they said it was $20,000, I beg your pardon. Oh. Yeah. Hello. That's, that's <laughs> you must be really ready to go. Let me tell you. Yeah, I don't have that kind of money. <laughs> <laughs> Not at all. My goodness. Well, yeah, but, it, you know, we, we pay it forward. We help each other. We are here for each other, for questions, for just, just if you need to talk, if you need to chat, we're here. Um, yeah. Well, paying it forward in any way, not just money, but with anything, like I said, it spreads. Yeah. <clears throat> You're the point that it starts from, but it spreads out from there. It does. I always say I am the pebble in the pond. Yeah, well, I like and that. I'm the pebble in the pond, and the ripples go out further and further and further. Yeah. You're your own stone hen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so funny. <laughs> All right. 
Well, what do you all think? So I have an idea for our journey today. I oh. want, I'm, I'm planning on journeying to our little village and we're going to create a brand new place in our village. What do you think oh, of that? Cool. <laughs> cool. That's going to be great. I look forward to it. Yeah. And I think we're all going to gather there and visit and meet somebody special. Okay. That sounds really good. And All right. You ready? All right. So it's 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 two fourteen. We've been on for forty five minutes already. What? Wow. Okay. Uh, forty five minutes. All right. So what we need to do, Miss Mickey, is you and I need to stop our video. There we go. All right. So I'd like for everyone to just. Get very comfortable wherever you are. Just relax back, close your eyes, and let's take a deep breath in and out. And another deep breath in and out. And know that with each breath in, you are bringing in beautiful, universal white light into your body. And with each exhale, you are releasing anything that you are holding that doesn't belong to you or that you just want to release. Know that with each breath and with each deep breath, you go deeper and deeper into this meditation, getting ready for our journey. Now to relax you even further, I would like for you to concentrate on each part of your body as I mention it, and then relax that part of your body, letting all tensions go. And let's start with our scalp. And release all tensions on our scalp. And your forehead, you can you even tense it a little bit? And then just relax those muscles, letting everything go. And your eyes, and your cheeks, and your nose and your lips, and your jaw. Just part your teeth ever so slightly, relaxing that jaw, allowing all tension to flow down and away from you, down to Mother Earth. She'll take it. And now your neck, releasing all tension there. And your shoulders, just relax those shoulders. Let your shoulder blades slide down like butter, warm butter. Just let that tension slide down. And your arms, forearms, your hands. You can even shake them a little bit. Shake that energy out. Beautiful. And now your chest. Relax your chest. And your back. And your torso. Relax your belly muscles. Relax your hips, your lower back, and your buttocks. Just allow everything to flow out and down, down into your thighs. Relax your thighs and your knees. Relax your calves, your ankles, your feet. Wiggle your toes, letting all the energy just flow down, down your central channel, down your legs, and out your feet right to the earth. And let's take another deep breath in and out. Relaxing. Going deeper and deeper. Now, I would like for you to visualize that you're standing at the top of a staircase. And at the bottom of the staircase is your meditation room that is in your heart space. And in this meditation room 
are several doors that go to other rooms and some of them go to the quantum world. That's where we're going to go today. So as you're standing at the top of these stairs, there's a handrail. Hold on to that. And we're going to walk down slowly, going deeper and deeper as we go. Ready? 10, 9, 8. Going deeper and deeper. 7, 6. Deeper still. 5, 4. Deeper and deeper. Three, two, deeper into your heart space. One, and you are now the bottom in your healing room, your meditation room. Deeper and deeper. And you can see the beautiful ornate door that is your quantum jumping door. And we know that that door opens outward. And we know that we're going to go into our quantum world. So I would like for you to set your intentions standing in front of this door. That when you pass through this door, you will be in the little, little courtyard, little side yard. And you'll know that there is a creek that we're going to cross. A beautiful bridge is there. And on the other side of the creek will be our village. And we're going to create a lounge, our source lounge. Okay? So let's have that in mind that we're going to be visiting the source lounge. Right? So I'm going to count to three, and when I get to three, the door is going to open outward, and then you're going to step over that threshold. You're going to jump, fly, walk, however you want to get over there, but we're going to do this together. Ready? One, two, three. Door is opening, and we are crossing that threshold. Why, it's beautiful over here. The sun is shining. There's green grass. There's a little park bench. And we can hear the creek. We can hear the water rushing over the rocks. We can smell the earth. We can smell that earthen, wet smell. And it's clean and crisp. So let's walk over to that bridge and cross over the creek to our village. And we're gonna look for that special building that is the Source Lounge. And what we mean by the Source Lounge is this is where everyone's source self is hanging out, listening to some smooth jazz maybe whatever you like. But we're going to walk over there and we're going to go into this lounge and meet our source self. So let's start on our little journey. May meet at the bridge and then we start crossing over the bridge. And on the other side we follow the path, and, and, and there's even signs that tell you. You know, you could go to the library or to the healing room, but we're looking for the source lounge. And there, very short distance away, we can see it. It looks very lively and very warm and very inviting. And there's some. Uh, Two steps, that's all. Two steps to walk up. One, two. And we walk through the door. And we're in the lounge and we can hear the beautiful music playing. Playing your favorite song. 
and we see people around. Some are on couches, some are standing up at a bar, and everybody's having a good time. And just mull around and find your source self. It will be very evident to you, and they will notice you and call you over to them as well. So let's just take a few minutes to be in this space, finding your source self. Now when you locate this source self, you can ask them their name, and certainly you can introduce yourself. You can ask them if they have any messages for you. And I'm going to give you some time so that you can get acquainted and have a conversation with your source self. And for those that are listening to this after we have completed, you can just put this on pause and spend as much time as you want. So let's spend a few minutes now. Now each source self has a gift for each one of us. They are showing you that they are paying it forward to us. Accept that gift with such gratitude and joy. Just as you did when you were a child the wonder and joy of receiving a gift unexpectedly for no reason at all. Just because your source self has so much joy in leaving this gift for you. Experience the joy of receiving. And you're also experiencing the joy that your source self has of giving. Now don't forget 
to thank, show your gratitude, hug, and know that you can join with your source self anytime you like. Source Lounge will always be here. Now it's time to say, I'll see you again soon. And it's time that we walk back, taking our time to get back to the quantum door. And I'll give you all plenty of time to say your goodbyes and your hugs and join me back on the other side of the creek. So as we're all still gathering in the little yard in front of our quantum door, the door is still open and it's time to walk across that threshold and go back into your meditation room. Okay. So let's everybody get into the meditation room. And the door is starting to close. As soon as you're in the room, the door is closed. Now I'd like for us to walk over to where our lab is. And let's go in the lab. And let's just do a little bit of healing while we're here. So go over to your healing table and just lie down and have the intention of self-love and self-healing. You are taking care of yourself first. You have received gifts from your source self. You can ask your source self to be with you here now that you guys are friends and you've met each other, you can ask if you have other guides or angels to be with you here. But this is a time to just be on this table, healing your body, your mind, your spirit. Just take in the beautiful healing energy that is absolutely surrounding you. With each in-breath, you are bringing in beautiful, healing, white light. With every exhale, you are clearing anything that is unwanted, anything that is damaged, anything that is not healed perfectly. Just lay there and enjoy this feeling of warmth and healing. feels so good. It feels so strong to be in this healing space. Now when you're ready, you can sit up, have a little glass of water, get used to being upright instead of laying down. And thank Source and the guides, angels, spirits 
anyone that came to help you, thank them. Thank yourself for the self-love, for showing up for yourself. That is the beginning. Now stand up and feel like a million bucks. You are strong and healthy. The healing is happening. Now you can walk back into the meditation room. And I'm going to count from one to five. When I get to five, you are going to open your eyes. You will be wide awake. You will be feeling wonderful all over, just like you've had a wonderful nap. But you will remember everything that happened to you. You will remember everything your source self said to you. And you will bring back the gift that was given to you. Okay, are we ready? One, two, you're coming back up very nicely. Three, coming up very, very light nicely now. Four and five, wide awake, eyes wide open. Feeling wonderful all over. thank each and every one of you for joining me on this journey. Hi, welcome back. Hey. Hi. Hello. I hope that worked okay. That was very nice. Oh, <laughs> well, all right then. Nice. It was a little shorter than normal, but that's okay. Oh, I see. Carol has joined us. Hi, Carol. Hello, Carol. Um, that was so unusual. Um, it, it, it was, it was just awesome. <laughs> It, it was, um, and it was my, so I have been writing and I've been talking to my source self since the beginning of the year, but I have never like visually seen my source self. That was awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Audrey said, wonderful. Glad you enjoyed it, Audrey. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, that definitely tied into everything we're talking about, um, using this time to, to jumpstart, move forward our manifestations. Uh, tomorrow is the full moon time to, that our manifestation should be coming to fruition from the eclipse time. Right, which yeah. was a whole nother big, you know, thing. Here, here. It, here, here is right. Yeah. Um, and it's a time to, you know, of cleansing for the, uh, during the new moon. You can make moon water. You can cleanse your crystals. Isn't that a pretty bowl? Your sugar bowl. Oh. Yes, it is. I don't know. Oh, look at her. <laughs> How cute. Oh, Martin said it was peaceful. Yes, it was, yeah. wasn't it? Yeah. Nice. Right. It wasn't like crazy jazz. It was very soft and easy. Like, at least that's what I heard. Nice. Oh, I'm making a couple of pieces. Yeah. Nice. Um, do you have any final words for our friends out here on Facebook and YouTube and speaking with Kate? For me? 
Yeah, you. Oh. <laughs> I'm pretty overwhelmed. Oh. That was a very, very nice meditation. It went so well with what I was saying. And so I hope that what each of you got from it will reinforce your intention to go out and make a difference in your awareness of your power. Because that was a powerful meditation. I enjoyed that. Yeah, now, quite now Mickey, Mickey and I listened to a video just the other day and it talked about love and what is love. And this um, Bert Goldman defined love as a positive outlook. Yeah. That is love. And if everybody could just live in a positive outlook, what a wonderful world this would turn into. Oh, oh. lemon rind. Oh, oh, nice. I love that. That brings very positive feelings, you know. And sometimes smells are like the most triggering of positive, yeah. you know, things. Um, I well. have Sagittarius rind. Sagittarius is very, very sensitive to a lot. Oh, okay. And it's one of the easiest ways I can use to trigger myself, like for meditation or anything. So, especially in this state I'm in now, having just been into my quantum place and stuff. And so the, the oils that are coming out of the skin are very, very potent. I'm using a, a vegetable peeler to take off just, um, what do they call it? Um, the zest. Huh? The zest. The zest. Thank you. I'm just taking the zest mm -hmm. to put in my strawberry tea. Oh, lovely. Nice. Yeah, listen. Carol, That's, there's I a can realize it's, it's very strong now after that meditation. Much more than it used to be. Oh, nice. Now, Carol yes. said it's a positive inlook. Love is a yes. positive look. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, again, it's two parts to that point that Mickey was talking about, right? It's an outlook yeah. and an inlook. Yeah, exactly. Thanks, oh, Carol. I'm a nut. This is the first time I've had a cup of tea in here with me for this. And oh, <laughs> what a it could make. I will always have a cup of tea next to me from here on out. Very nice. Very nice. Yeah, well, nice. we're going to let you have your tea and we're going to sign off for today's. But everybody, you know, I was out last night. The moon was, it was huge and it was beautiful. So tonight, tonight it should look the same, but tomorrow it will peak. And I'm not sure about the time, but it's later. It's later in the evening for us. It's actually the next day for you. Yeah. It's really, really beautiful nights right now. It is, and it's and it's clear for those that are in the Northeast right now. Anyway, it is. Is it clear where you are? Beautiful, beautiful. absolutely beautiful. The evenings are so free of um, any kind of obstruction. I mean, you can really see the sky and the stars and so forth. You know. Nice. So I'm grateful for that view. I made note of it last night. It was quite unusually clear. I did. I did too. Yes. Yes. Yeah. And there aren't, I mean, leaves are just starting now to grow on our trees. So you still have a lot of visible um, sky space. So everything's growing like mad. And the little, what I call my little lawn boys, I have a little crew. <laughs> They're so excited because, hey, this is the time of year when we can get to make money, you know. So that That's happens. Right. <laughs> That's yeah. right. The lawn is growing like that. Ours too. Ours too. All right, everybody. Well, I want you to enjoy your full moon and definitely partake in Mickey's exercise and let us know how you did and um, how it feels. And, you know, did anything new crop up um did this manifestation bring something new to your life yeah yeah i'm i'm all excited about the energetic manifestation and i can't wait to hear yeah. what happens to everybody. yeah 
Well, if we don't hear, we'll, we'll ask next time. Yeah, we will. Do. We will. But thank we everybody for being here. Yeah. We love and you all. It means a lot. It does. It does. We're thinking right. about it. Bye. Bye.